Hi, my name is Celie Buchanan. In this video, we're going to create two acrylic faux paint techniques using Royal Talon's Amsterdam Standard Acrylic Paints and Mediums. Amsterdam Standard is a medium viscosity, 100% acrylic emulsion and high grade pigments. It has excellent adhesion on most surfaces and with excellent light fastness. There's a wide range of opacities, including 17 speciality metallic, pearl and reflex colors. For the first effect, the forest floor is the inspiration. Using yellow ochre and a broad brush moistened in water, cover the paper using a series of crisscross strokes. This applies the paint evenly while preventing directional brush marks. Once dry, make a paint with a mixture of one part burnt umber to one part matte medium. Using approximately a one inch brush, cover the surface with the colour using the same crisscross brush strokes. This will start to build up texture. The third and final background colour is yellowish green diluted with a little water. Once this has been applied, take a damp cloth and wipe it down using circular motions. Pick some leaves and brush or roller them with sap green. When the paint is still wet, place them wet paint side down onto the paper. Press the leaves using your palm or brayer. It's best to place a sheet of paper over the leaves when applying pressure. Remove the leaves and repeat this process using burnt sienna, then yellowish green blended with a touch of azo yellow lemon. Once the leaf prints are dry, use some Amsterdam black and white acrylic inks to apply shadows and highlights on the leaves. Keep these marks soft by blotting or scumbling them with a dry brush while the paint is still wet. The second example is inspired by a rock face. Mix some Amsterdam modelling paste and heavy gel medium in equal parts using a palette knife. Randomly apply the mixture of mediums onto the surface. Introduce texture by varying the thickness of the application. Using a texture tool or a piece of card with teeth cut into it, drag this across the wet medium, work back into it with a palette knife, flattening some areas in a random pattern. Once dry, apply a dilute mixture of 50% water and burnt sienna using a damp cloth to cover the entire surface. Loosely brush some yellowish green onto selected areas, blending the wet paint using a damp cloth. With a damp cloth, apply some burnt sienna mixed with a touch of oxide black around the edges of the image and blend. When the colour is completely dry, take a medium grit sandpaper and abrade the surface to create texture. More information regarding Royal Talon's Amsterdam products can be found at the link. And for more great content, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.